Alrighty guys, I got the tripod out here. Gonna be showing you um, some sprouting, my different methods here. Um, originally, I had the, the mason jar from the dollar store. Also drain, uh, can, basically a drain uh, filter from the dollar store as well. And I just put it like this put it in the pan this is the pan that came with my induction cooker and I'll lift the camera up for a minute just so you can see and I can see zoom out so there's an air gap in between here and that's what you want you want all the water to drain out so nothing rots and you want to have let some air in there so that's Event, that's what this is doing and it just sits like that you don't have to do much now this only works this screen here only works for the bigger seeds these are the ancient eastern blend and you can see the big the bigger size compared to uh, my alfalfa but today I'm going to do both in one container so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that and let me set the tripod up again here so I can do that for you. That's better. So, take that out of there. Now these came in a two pack at the dollar store. So the other one is the smaller one here. And as you notice, it's almost the perfect size for the mason jar. And it has a little catch at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, since I already know the finer seeds are going to go through the grate on this one, because it's not fine enough, I'm going to use the cheesecloth, also from the dollar store. And, also, and then once that just goes on there, use an elastic band. I use that um, steel wire that I had from the dollar store as well, and it rusted, so plastic band or something plastic or a wire tie whatever so right now we'll get rid of this guy I'm gonna fill the jar with a teaspoon this time um, this is the first time I've grow grown an actual teaspoon of either so I'm just gonna shake it out a bit well, not quite a teaspoon there. You guys see that on camera? Not quite a teaspoon. Into the jar. And ancient grains. That's a full teaspoon there. Hopefully you can see that okay. And that's all she wrote. So now, I'm going to go fill this with some water. And I'll bring it back and show you what next. So stay right there. Alrighty guys, I'm using the water out of my uh, fluoride filter system, the gravity fed pure, uh, pro pure system. And I got about a shot glass full of water in there. You don't need much. And basically, I don't even have to cover this until um, I drain it, but I'll cover it anyway. And then once it's drained, I sit it on an angle because it doesn't have this to hold it up. The smaller one, I just leave the butt end of the jar. Here, let me get that in frame. The butt end of the jar here at the top, leaning down on an angle. And this normally just stays as is and the water can drain out and there's plenty of air. So this sits for three hours. And then... Um, I will uh, 
basically empty the water, flip it upside down in here, and then tomorrow I'll rinse it in the morning one time. So basically you just put a little water in and then just to get everything wet and then instantly drain it and then put it back on the tray to air dry again. And then at night, before you go to bed, rinse it again. And you basically do that for a week. And then you'll have this whole jar will fill up with sprouts and you can just eat them as is, throw them on sandwiches, salads, whatever. So that's how I do my sprouting, guys. And I got most of the stuff from the dollar store, so definitely affordable. The biggest expense was the seeds, so not too bad. And I'm sure everybody has a pan kicking around. This is, just happens to be the one I use because it came with my induction cooker. And I use, uh, I've been using this and this. I haven't used this mostly just for sprouting because those surplus pans that I got at the, uh, in an earlier video you would have saw those. Um, they work fantastic, even better than the pan that came with this. So um, that's it for now, guys sprouting at not at the off-grid tiny house yet but i will eventually be there doing this over there so that's it for now